Man, if I could don't wouldn't have made any difference. David, I'm, I'm sorry we're late. Roadworks. Oh, yeah, no, I mean. David, you said you'd get her off. I'm going to be late for school. Well, I'll drop her off if you like that. It's all right, she's already gone. Oh. Problem, is it? All right, the hotel might be a bit rough, but it's not dirty. Well, something was making a meal of me last night. I woke up scratching. Just try washing sometimes. Oh, shut up. That's enough, both of you. Come on, we've got a lot of work to do. Hey, where are you going? Just for a walk. When will you be back? I don't know. I won't get on. Well, be careful. And don't go far. All right. She's sick of that dump as well, you know. It's not just me. The sooner we get this place sorted out, the sooner we get out of the hotel. Now, cop hold of this. What's the point? This place will go bust five minutes after it opens, and then we'll be off again. You've got a serious attitude problem. Do you know that? Get real, Dad. Nobody's going to go at a DIY shop down some back street, are they? Not when they can go to the superstore and get what they want for half the price. It's a waste of time. We might be starting small, but if we work hard, it'll grow, believe me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You start small, you stay small, and then you go out of business. Not if you work at it. Look, I didn't want to come here, did I? This was all your idea. I wanted to stay in Norwich. Well, we couldn't. I don't know what you're getting so worked up about. Pat, say you're late. It's no big deal. It is to me. But you're blowing it out of proportion. I, uh, won't be staying over at your place tonight, Roy. Now, look. Pat. Before you say anything else, just think about it from Janine's point of view. Better get to work. I promised David I'd do some work on the books today, and I don't want him having a go at me about that and all. Blimey thing. What's the matter with it? Ian, what are you doing? I'm trying to wear my shirt, but I can't get this steam to come out. Come in. You haven't got it on hot enough. Oh, right. I thought you'd be back about that. some coffee in the pot if you want it. You don't have to do this, you know. Yes, I do. You were right, love. Everything you said yesterday was true. No, I was a bit over the top. No! Oh, look, I deserved it. When Mum told me about the baby, I... I realised I, I should have known something was up, but I've been so wrapped up in myself, I, I didn't. I know that now. Oh, it's all. Let me do it. Oh. See? You're always doing things for me, aren't you? I'm your wife. Yeah. I've been taking you for granted, haven't I? But look, it's all going to change in the future. From now on, I'm really going to try. I didn't sleep a wink last night, you know. I was so worried. Oh, you shouldn't be losing sleep over this, Arthur. It's the bank's problem, not ours. <laughs> 9.30, exactly. They should be opening that door now. Inefficient. We should never have opened in a car with this lot. Oh. How do you feel about it, really? No, I'm, I'm pleased for her. I mean, even if she's giving birth to a Mitchell, I mean, it's not the baby's fault, is it? Ian. Well, geez. You said you were going to change, and that means making effort for your mama feel. I mean, do it for the baby's sake, if nothing else. Yeah, it's a shame you can't choose your parents, isn't it? Yeah, but well, how do you know you're making the right choice? Oh, that's true. Yeah, if it was left to Stephen, he'd probably choose a power ranger for his dad, wouldn't he? <laughs> Claim I stuck there, didn't he? Sorry. So am I. I. I know Simon's his real dad, but I still think of him as mine. I mean, I love him more than anything. You know that. I know you do. Sorry. Hello? Oh, I was beginning to think you'd gone out of business. Yeah, about this duff freezer you sold me. I've checked our records, Mr. Roper, and I'm sure we can clear this up. Oh, well, that's easy to say when it's not your money, yeah. will you? You are the only signatories for the account, I believe. Yes, but we wouldn't diddle ourselves, no, would we? No, 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 look, this has to be a mistake. Well, so you've said, Mr. Fadler, but the money was transferred perfectly legally. Look, here are the dates in this column and the amounts transferred in this column here. But we've told you that that's not possible. Well, that's what our records show. We've followed instructions and done exactly what we've been asked to. I have here a copy of one of the letters of transfer. Uh, I'd like to see that. Of course. <gasps> well, we never wrote this letter. Are you quite sure? Well, of course I'm sure. I mean, we may look past it to you, but we're not completely stupid. Don't you think we'd remember something like this? Now, look, I don't know what's going on here, but you'd better get it sorted out double quick. Mr. Roper, I'm trying to. Uh, and what about your staff? Eh? They could have access to our account, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Roper, our staff have to deal with very large sums of money every day. They're scrupulously vetted. It's unlikely that your account could have been tampered with from inside the bank. Yeah, but not impossible. We'll make further checks. Yeah, I suggest you do that. 
I'll talk to my staff and we'll keep you informed. Meanwhile, if you think a crime has been committed, perhaps you should go to the police. Oh, don't worry. We will, won't we, Arthur? Hiya. You back then? Yeah. So you're going to move in around here? Yeah, eventually. What school are you going to go to? I don't know yet. I'm in the newspaper business myself. Really? Yeah, I'm a journalist. So what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, cheers, Grant. Are you sure you won't have something to eat? No, thanks. My oh, Grant has a great baker's sarni. Here, do you want to buy it? No. Oh, go on, it's really nice. I don't eat animals, especially not pigs. Did you know they're really intelligent? Are they? Yeah. I think it's disgusting the way they're treated. Do you know the cells are kept in so so small they can't even move? They're just fattened up until... Look, I think you put me off my food, all right? Morning, Blossom. Good morning, Kat. Didn't expect to see you today. Yeah, tell her, will you, Blossom? Try to listen to me. I'm fine. Stop trying to wrap me up in cotton wool, will you? Women are much stronger than men, you know, Phil. I was cleaning the house the day after I had my first. Uh, see? Anyway, I'm not planning on working all day. Good. No, I'm going shopping later. <laughs> yeah, but people have always eaten me. I mean, ever since we were cavemen, it was natural to hunt animals and kill them. Maybe, but we're not cavemen now, Robbie. Yeah, I know that, but humans need meat. It's full of protein. So we're nuts. Anyway, what about Willard? He's an animal. You wouldn't eat him, would you? No, no of course not. It's got to be our next move, Arthur. Maybe we should wait for the bank to check something. Yeah, wait till they've covered their tracks more than like. Oh, I don't know. Look, someone's got our money, Arthur. The sooner we go to the police, the sooner we can get it sorted out. Yeah, yeah I suppose you're right. What are you doing here? I thought it's going to work. Yeah, uh, never wait. Now, look, I've, I've been thinking about us, about the whole situation. What, what do you mean? Well, um... Look, it's obvious that you're not happy with the way things are, Pat, so... I've been trying to come up with a solution that'll solve all our problems. Go on. Well, you're always going on about the fact that you practically live at my place, right? So I thought, well, how would it be if you and Janine moved in with me? Now, look, you don't have to say anything now, but just think about it. I mean, now, in the future, we could sell both our houses and then buy something together. Uh, the... Hold on, Roy. Hold right, on. Get two funds for you? Let's go over this again. We launched the campaign about six months ago, and we've been collecting money ever since. And you say that over £20,000 was raised and deposited in the bank? Just over, yes. How many people had access to this account? Oh, only me and Arthur, as far as we know. How many people knew about this money? Well, everybody. We organised lots of fundraising events, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've had a snail race and uh, the pubathon, of course. Oh, uh, the money nearly got pinched then. What happened? Oh, it's all right. Didn't get away with it. Yeah, we were lucky then. And there are no other authorised signatories for the account? No, just myself and Mr Fowler. Yeah. I'm secretary, you see, and Willie's chairman. It was Willie who suggested putting the money in the bank, wasn't it? Yeah. You'd have thought it would have been the safest place for it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just shows you. Yeah. And you have no idea how this money came to be missing? Well, no. No, none at all. That's why we've come to you. We are mystified. I mean, either the bank's made a terrible mistake or someone's stolen it. Do you have any ideas as to who this person might be? Right, I'll get him to bring you on this number. Yep, thanks. Bye. Roy? No more distractions. Come on, what's wrong? It's just a bolt from the blue, that's all. I don't, I don't know what to say. Well, it's a big thing for me, too. So, like I said, it'll take some talking through. We need to think about the practicalities. Oh, is that all? Hi, Roy. That bloke ring about the rental? Yeah, I said you'd ring him back. Oh, lovely. Hi, hi. What's you two been up to? Oh, nothing. Come on. We need to talk. Right, then. I think that's about it for now. Unless you can think of anything else. What happens next? We'll launch an investigation. Good. If you can bring in the bank statements and any other relevant paperwork, we'll check it against the bank records and we get the original letters of transfer sent off to fingerprinting. Well, 
Well, that's it, then. Oh, don't worry, Arthur. They'll sort it out. Mm. I don't fancy going back to work. Well, let's go to the allotments, eh? It's quiet there. Yeah. You'll be able to talk. Yes. You just missed Kath. She went to do some shopping. No, I'll pop round later. Make sure she's looking after herself. <laughs> don't you worry. There's a whole army of people doing just that. <laughs> Hey, hi, love. Thought you'd still be asleep. No, I've got a couple of hours. Carol, I got Sonia out of the way this morning so that you wouldn't be disturbed. Yeah, I know. But the trouble is, I'm so used to it now that I woke up anyway in anticipation. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Well, I don't know, Dad. Just stop hassling me, will ya? Look, either you come and work with me or you get yourself another job. I'm not keeping you, Tony. If you had a business that had half a chance, I might consider it. Oh, yeah? Like what? CDs, videos, new technology. That's where the money is. Is that what you're going to do, is it? But why don't you go back into education? You're bright enough. It's a waste of time. There's nothing they can teach me that I don't already know. So you're just going to hang about on street corners, is that it? Nah, too cold. I thought I'd spend a couple of years sitting around getting out my head on drinking drugs and pulling birds of course. And who's going to pay for this lifestyle? You? Have I read it all wrong? What do you mean? Well, we are in love, aren't we? Yeah, but moving in together, it's... Permanent. It's like making it official. Well, I don't have a problem with that. Do you? What if it don't work out? <laughs> now, listen, Roy. All right. We love each other now, but what about in the future? What, do you think I'm going to walk out or something? Yeah, maybe. Living together day in, day out. It's a whole new ball game. Yeah, but do you think I don't know that? Now, look, I can't give you a cast-iron guarantee that we're going to be happy for the rest of our lives. I mean, nobody can. Life isn't like that, is it? No. Yeah, but I am willing to give it my best shot. Now, how about you? Roy, I... Oh, sorry, I seem to be following you two around today. Yeah. Mum, you seen the car keys for the Renault? I can't find them anywhere. They're right in there. Oh. Oh, I think I'll have to stay for some lunch while I'm here. Anything on the menu? I can knock something up for you, if you like. Uh, David can make himself a sandwich, can't you, David? Come on, Pat, I'm taking you out to lunch. I don't know why you don't come into business with me. Hills and Sun, can you see it? Do me a favour. I know you think we're going to go bankrupt before we start it, but uh, you're me the old fool today, wouldn't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Thought I'd go with the Vic, make you start my new career. You're not getting off that easy. Yeah. Not the car by the yard, will you? Yeah, later, right? No, now. I'm working in the yard all afternoon. I went somewhere where I'll keep an eye on it. Half an hour, don't be long. Yeah, love, have a look at this. I've got a really good deal on it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's state of the art. Does everything except the ironing. <laughs> well, you better get rid of it then, haven't you? And I've got something else as well, what was that? I've got this for you, Mum. I want you to go down and stay with her. Do you mean it? Yes. Look, obviously, we've got to talk about how we're going to deal with the kids and stuff, but well, it shouldn't be a problem, should it? Okay. So, it must be nice being a man of leisure. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm not just doing nothing, you know. No. Could afford me. I'm thinking. Oh, sounds like hard work. If people didn't think, you would never theory of relativity or quantum mechanics, would you? Yeah, that'd be a shame, wouldn't it? <laughs> so come on, what are you thinking about? Yes. Uh, can I have a G and T and a bit of please? Yeah. So, can I have the little run to the big news? Hey? You know, Ian, the baby. Oh, he's fine about it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to go into one, but Cappy reckons he was great. To her, maybe. What do you mean? Well, Carl didn't think exactly how to the prospect of you father and his little kid sister or brother. You ain't exactly best mates, are you? Well, I don't bother me either way. No? It'd be interesting to see which way he jumps. But you're a fiery blank shot. Yeah? Yeah. Make it a tenner. You're on. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Shepherd's pie, it wasn't a patch on yours. Thanks. I think we should have gone to the cafe instead. You're being very quiet, Pat. I haven't frightened you off, have I? No, of course not. Listen, no, it's just... no good. It's no good, Roy. I'm not going to move out with you. Oh, I see. No, you don't. Albert Square's my own. All my family are here. Janine, David, Ricky. And what about young Stephen? I don't want to miss out on watching him grow up. I've given it a lot of thought, Roy. And I think it would be best for everybody concerned if you move in with me. 
What mood's in? Ready to kill you. You're late. But Pop was busy, wasn't it? Well, tell Dad. I don't care. Where are you going? See you on the cab. Boy, you're not thinking of putting that thing on my dad's car, are you? It's illegally parked. No way. I parked it here for the past two weeks. You're lucky then, haven't you? There's no way it's illegal. Where's the sign? Are you brain dead or what? Watch it. You're out of all. Hey! What's going on? This moron reckons we're illegally parked. I'm sorry, this is private property. Oh, yeah? Tony! Like I said, this car is parked on private property. Don't look private to me. Well, it is, and you can't touch it. I think you'll find that I can. You pay me 50 quid now, or it's towed away at the end of the afternoon, all right? You must be joking. Tony, leave it. What is asking for it, Dad? There's no point. Have you lost your bottle? You can't sort everything out with your fist, son. You've got to be a bit cleverer than that. Come on. I wonder if we could have mentioned the developers to that policeman. Well, Cranwell's? Well, with the incinerator, they've got a motive, haven't they? And we were going to march on them next week. They wouldn't have liked that. That's right, but... How would they get access to the account? I don't know. False documents, maybe. What documents? False passports, that sort of thing. When you read about it... Yeah, but they'd, they'd need the number of the account, signatures, everything. Well, they could have contacts in the bank or wherever. It's a bit far-fetched, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I don't think they're on the ball enough, to be honest. No. But who else is there? Um, what about your nephew? What, Ian? Oh, why not? He's got access to your papers, hasn't he? He wouldn't do a thing like that. He's family. Well... Back to square one, then. It's not... I don't like your house. No, it's lovely. But this is my home. It's handy for Janine's school. All my friends are here. Maybe I'm being a bit too selfish. No more than I was. But what about space? Well, there's plenty of room. What, are you sure? I mean, I would have thought my house was bigger. Well, mine doesn't look much from the outside, but inside it's like the TARDIS. Let's face it, Willie. We're the only ones that had access to that account. In theory. I could see the way that manager looked at us. He thought we took that money. That's ridiculous. Is it? If they think this is embezzlement, where's the first place they're going to look? Once the police start delving, they're going to want to talk to me, aren't they? But what do you mean? Oh, come off it, Willie. You know I've got a record. Well, um, yeah. People talk. Yeah, I bet they do. Yeah, but it was all a long time ago, Arthur. And besides, everyone understood why you did it. That doesn't matter. The fact is, I stole the Christmas club yeah, money. You're under tremendous strain. Yeah, I suppose I was going through some sort of breakdown. I'll be losing my job. Shell getting married. Worrying about paying for Look, it all. You don't have to explain, Arthur. It could have happened to anyone. Oh, thanks, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it's there in black and white, isn't it? I mean, I'm bound to be a suspect. You know I wouldn't touch a penny, didn't you? Oh, Arthur, please. That goes without saying. <laughs> of course, um, they'll be looking seriously at me as well, you know. I wouldn't blame you if the thought had crossed your mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Good. Of course, it's uh, the public embarrassment that's going to be hard to take, isn't it? Well, maybe I should call the council and come clean. I mean, what's Mr Dixon going to say? Uh, look, let's not jump the gun, Arthur. After all, we don't know what the police are going to come up with yet, do we? Oh, no, no, I suppose you're right. Look, uh, I'd better be off home. Uh, why don't you come with me? Uh, no, no, not today, Willie, if you don't mind. Uh. Well, um, you won't sit moping, will you? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine, really. I'll, I'll be leaving myself in a minute. Mm. It's probably long gone by now. Then we keep looking till we find him. Why should he take any notes for a bit of paper? Because it's the law, Tony. He's got to. Oh, yeah. He didn't look like we could read to him. Well, I'll read it to him. We could have just borrowed a pair of bolt cutters and saved ourselves a trip to court. <clears throat> that might be your way, Tony, but it's not mine. You know, when I was a kid, I had my push bike stolen from some guy up the road. When I got older, I gave him a right thrashing. But I was the one who ended up in court. Why? I got let off with a fine. But I learned something that day. Don't get angry. Get even. There he is. Right, my friend, this is an injunction. So I'll be very grateful if you remove your clamp from my car. He's joined up right. He'll take your time. Is this some kind of joke? You crap. Tony! 
Are you listening to me? I told you, violence doesn't solve anything. Do you enjoy your job? Off. You must be. It's one long wind up, ain't it? You're the wind up merchant here, son. Excuse me, the uh, officers would like a word. As you can see, officer, my uh, vehicle is legally parked on private property, but this gentleman doesn't seem to understand. He's intellectually challenged, as they say. A complete dork, in other words. Tony. Look, that's all right, son. We'll handle this. You're supposed to be clever. Why don't you use your grey matter? Shh. Right. This gentleman's obtained a court injunction which says you have 30 minutes to remove your will, Colonel. I suggest you comply. 28. He's trying it on. They've always got some excuse. According to this, the vehicle's legally parked. You're not falling for it, are you? Can have your full name, please, sir. All right, all right, I'll draw. It's just... Cheers. That's all right. I might have last week. <laughs> <laughs> I might have let this go if you'd have been more reasonable, but now you've annoyed me. If there's any marks on that car, you'll pay for it. All legal and above board. No bruises. I put my tools in the back of that car. I'm going around to see Kath. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's ancient, that. You can have it if you want. Well, you should keep it in case you have a little girl. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you finished now, then? <laughs> For the moment, yeah. Oh, I've got to put the kettle on. Hmm. So, what have you been up to, then? Oh, nothing much. Just been helping Auntie Kath put some curtains up. You know what kids are? They want it all now. Yeah, well, your place should be ready soon, shouldn't it? Yeah, around about Christmas or just after. Yeah. Beat sleeping four in a bed like we used to do when we were kids. <laughs> you remember our nan? Every Wednesday, gave us shrubs, go and buy some sweets. <laughs> and then mum used to nick it off us to pay the insurance, man. <laughs> <laughs> God, we're a lot better off now, aren't we? Yeah, Tony doesn't think so. What do you mean? I don't know. He's got a really good brain, but he won't use it. Just wants to have a good time. Oh, really? Yeah, he sounds like another boy I knew a long time ago. Uh, Ted, I think his name was. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Tony would be all right. It's just his age. Mm. You're probably right. I mean, look at him. I thought he was going to go bananas when I told him about the baby, but he didn't, did he? He's grown up, Ted. They all do in the end. Mm. Alan! Robbie! Dinner's ready, come and get it! Lovely. I'm starving. Oh, no, not burgers. You have like burgers. Not anymore, I don't. Robbie? I just can't eat it, Mum. Waste not, want not. Wait a minute. What's the matter with you? Well, I've decided to become a vegetarian. <laughs> What's brought this on? Well, I was looking at Wellard today, right, and I thought, I'm a hypocrite. How can I say I love him when I mean his mates from the animal kingdom? <laughs> Get out of it. No, I'm being serious, Mum. From now on, I'm not going to eat the flesh of a dead animal. <laughs> I mean, that was once running around the field. Do you know that? Without a care in the world. Mm. <laughs> Go on, eat it. <laughs> Hope you can live with yourselves. <laughs> I'm so relieved Ian's all right about the baby. Yeah, so am I. He's really excited about this new toy, isn't he? Not chippy. Yeah, I'm just really sorry I can't be there for grand opening. Why not? Well, I'm going to my mum, she's not well. Oh, what's wrong with her? Uh, some sort of virus or something. There you go, Mum. Get it, Danny. What about my furniture? Bring what you like. Sort it out. I am a bit of a order, you know, Pat. But my wardrobe is crammed full. Well, I'll make room. Roy, I'm not trying to push you into anything, but I'm willing to give it a go if you are. Cap, are you sure you don't mind? Kids can be a bit powerful, you know, sometimes. Of course not. Anyway, you've got to go if your mum's ill, haven't you? Yeah. David, what can I get you? Uh, I'll have a pint, please, mate. Yeah. Here, I like the tash. Suits you. Yeah. Makes you look, um... Older? Older. Oh, older, thanks. <laughs> What's the occasion, anyway? Ah, oh, Cindy's is nearly finished. We're just about ready to open up. Oh, great. Can't have too many Cindy's, can you? Phil coming in tonight. Uh, he said he has to finish off a job first. See, so he's come over all responsible now. He's going to be a daddy. Oh, I thought you'd be in the mix and I'd ask spending some of that dough. As if I would. Everything go all right at the bank, you silly? Except tomato juice. Mm. I'll tell you what, second thoughts, I'll have, uh, I'll have a large brandy. You're pushing about that a bit, aren't you? 
What you up to? Buying a drink. No, I see. But why did you ask me then? You know what I'm talking about. Go away, David. You don't mean that. Turn time. Yeah. It would really mean a lot to me. Well, I've already congratulated you. Can't you just pass it on to him? I mean, you can't expect miracles, can you? Well, Arthur's definitely changed his tune. Yesterday I couldn't shut him up about it. Today he just blanked me. Maybe he thinks you're angling for a sub. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he's probably got a lot on his mind. What with Paul in the way, having to cope with Martin on his own. Uh, Phil. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to say congratulations. Oh, right. I'd really like to wish you and Mum all the best. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Of course, uh, there is the habit of entertaining, you know, the uh, business associates, that sort of thing. Are you sure that wouldn't put you out too much? I think I can handle that. OK. Well, I've got one more question for you. What's that? Oh, would you like me to move in? 